All right. Greetings. We are going to uh, just talk a little bit about what this product is. And this is a shark, but both Hoover, Eureka, and I'm sure there will be more to come, are copying this product. And as we know, shark kind of was real iffy for a long time. And then they somehow latched on to Dyson's marketing, kind of spun that around, used it against them, and now they sell essentially $150 to $300 vacuums with a lifetime warranty or a five-year warranty, but you have to send it in, and once you send it in, the warranty's over. Strange things. Um, but people like these things. Some people hate them. Um, they're quoted online as being the vacuum devil's hell spawn. Uh, there's no parts availability, um, so a lot of problems there. Uh, and they're made in China, of course. Uh, now, there are some shortcomings of this machine that are absolutely huge, and I don't know how consumers look past them. So, the first thing we're going to talk about is it's bagless. Now, everybody's familiar with bagless machines. You have to go outside, empty them, they leave a big mess. And then every time you vacuum, you have this filter. And then, unlike a Dyson, you have a second one uh, that you're going to wash as well. So that's that's kind of corny. And then there's a HEPA filter that must be replaced in here. That HEPA filter is probably good for about six months before it is completely soiled. Um, so, and there's no effective real cyclone in here. There's a cyclone, but it's not super effective like uh, some other vacuums. So it's kind of a step bar backwards. Um, the other thing about this machine is it does lie flat, but it's so tall uh, I can't even get this to really stay flat, but you get the idea. Uh, so that's a shortcoming. Another shortcoming is it doesn't do high pile. There is no carpet height adjustments on any of their models right now, which means it relies on a floating head to stay above the carpet and maintain contact. Now, another thing is some of these have base plates that are easily opened, and that's, that's super cool, but you know way to readily pull the brush roller out. Um, a lot of customers think their belts break, they have geared belts, usually the belt doesn't break. You can almost bet that it is a circuit board or a micro switch or a motor that has gone out before the belt will break in this machine. Um, and it, they will go out. The expected life expectancy of this machine is about a year. Um, maybe two if you really nurse it. Um, now, I want to, I wasn't going to plug this in, but I, I, I want the sound difference to be heard, how loud this is. They all have this, this horrible sound to them. This is, a, again, a newer one. And if we turn the roller on... Now, you'll notice it's got LED headlights. Uh, but they, they don't really shine very far, and they're actually one of the most useless headlights I've seen in the industry. Um, the tools are also very awkward. For some reason, Shark continued the nonsense of the wand and then notice you've got this cord. And then you have, now you have a wand. Non-telescoping, fixed in place. Uh, a lot of them are aluminum with these really cheap ends on them. A lot of bulk uh, to break. They're, everything fits together really strange. They, you just, they, they don't feel good in your hand. This doesn't get under things. The machine is just completely awkward, and it's cheap. The customer will need to replace it. But because they've seen advertising complimenting the consumer that they were smart enough not to buy a Dyson, they buy these. And now we have numerous other vacuums that are coming out of the same horrible form factor. Actually, before I put this away, the, the purpose of this form factor uh, is to sell somebody a canister vacuum without selling them a canister because for some reason people in this country are so opposed to canisters. Um, so what you're supposed to do, it's got this strange lift away function and all of a sudden it becomes a canister. This one becomes a canister that you have to hold. And this
Placebo Felix. So this is a machine that was designed in the early 1990s. And they've made some small improvements, but it was pretty much right out of the box. Um, so first of all, it does have a swivel neck. It does uh, get all the way low. It gets so much lower than oh, so many uprights. I mean, it, it's just huge, the difference right there. Um, the other thing that this machine has is it has a manual carpet adjustment. So you can adjust it to a frigé or soft carpet. It is compatible. This machine is a two motor system. Um, and it's made in Germany. Going to the brush roller section real quick. So in here we have a few things that are super, super nifty for a customer. First of all, we have a clean out port to get something stuck in there. Now we're gonna blow all the customers away. We have pressed a button, this cover comes off, we give the brush roller a half twist, and it comes out. The brush roller is actually dishwasher safe, kind of a fun fact. Um, you can cut it, clean it, replace it. These are inexpensive. Made in Germany. The parts cost on this machine uh, are really inexpensive. The retail is inexpensive. As of right now, we make good margins. Um, so there's your height adjustment wheel. You have soft rubber wheels, aren't going to scratch bare floor. So now on to the main party trick of the machine, which is power head pops off. Now this machine, once you pop the power head off, you can collapse the handle. They do make a strap that you can get if you want to carry it around. And all of a sudden, we have a machine that is what Shark was trying to do in that form factor with many more years on the market to prove its design. Of course, it's more powerful being a bag. speed suction motor on board. We're going to telescope the handle available to the user so that that's, you can set it how you want for the user. In terms of power, this is a breakfast cereal sand and cake off. And there are some stains on the carpet, so it's not leaving stuff behind. That's just what this carpet is. Um, we'll do the same test with the shark and see what happens. And there's noticeable stuff left behind, uh, particularly right here, and a lot of the fine debris. You can see the sand, so it, and the carpet looks a lot less groomed. Um, and that is measured the Dyson's most powerful vacuum, the Ball Animal 2, at 74 CFM, and the Mila U1 at 67, which is amazing for a vacuum. Business ends of the machines for a minute. So the Sebo Felix is available in two widths, but you can see the clean path. It's, you know, your normal 12 inch cleaning path. I'm not sure, I'm gonna pick the shark up here. We can see the clean path of the shark is a little narrower. Close though. Um, some of the sharks are really narrow. Again, this is one of the newer ones where they've supposedly addressed a lot of those issues. So now we've done this test. We've you know seen that this is made in Germany and will last 20 years. You also can point out emptying the machine. Now this can backfire, so you've got to really pick your customers or I like to prep my customers and tell them this is hypoallergenic. I'm not demoing anything bad. And you show them the empty and the empty and then you wash the filter and all that. Or, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, you can pull the vacuum bag out. These have a self-sealing cover. Throw it away and every few months you just change your bag. 
At that point, you want to pull out a heavy vacuum bag if you have one, full of stuff, debris, and have them hold it. If you have, don't have a full one, it's time to get some sand and fill them up. Um, another selling point on this machine is not going to shut unless the bag is in place properly. And while we have the bag open, you have a full bag check indicator. Right there. Just like a gas gauge in your car, which most customers will be able to identify with. It's not a light, it's a gauge. And then you have your upholstery, dusting brush. What is not on board of this machine is a wand. You can buy a wand separately. They're available for sale from SIBO. They're inexpensive. Um, you also do not have a dusting brush on board this machine. Um, again, it's a standard SIBO accessory. You can buy it from SIBO, but those are just two things it doesn't come with, oddly enough. Now, if we get to bare floor cleaning, that's where things are going to get really interesting. And we're going to just pan over here. Eh. We're going to pan over right here. All right. I'm talking about some bare floor clean. Um, I'm sure you've heard this stuff with a Dyson or some other cleaner. You just hear that the noise, and you want to mention uh, to the customer. Look at these plastic parts. Look at this Barbie doll stuff. Um, you wouldn't want that on your wood floor. Um, now we're going to do that same test, and this is interchangeable with other vacuums, they're not the only vacuum that does this. You can hear how much quieter that is on barrel 4, but it doesn't get better from there. As of right now, they will give you this tool. Now mine I always modify them in the store. Sometimes I send them home like that for the customer. There's some yellow tabs, and there should be two strips uh, of brushes. What you want to do, pull the strip out. You pull the front strip out, leave the back one in. Throw some K-POC on the floor. However you want to do it, doesn't matter. Throw breakfast cereal on the floor. Uh, right there. So rather than, you can use this machine on bare floor, the bare floor carpet switch is right here. But that doesn't give us an impressive demo as switching this over. Impressive with the demo is when you turn the machine, it's not flying six inches away into the vacuum. And just one pass or half a pass picks it up. Now, I'm going on to the power head just to explain to you that that thing will pick up on bare floor too. Again, this button is going to be what actuates it. Sometimes, with a unit, stuff will get caught on the other side of the brush roller or something. So it's real important as soon as you get to that carpet in that demo that you're hitting. So again, always hit that button right when you go back to carpet. And that's whether you're giving a Mila demo or any vacuum when you're switching between bare floor and carpet and you're using a power head or an upright. Um, so another cool feature, which we'll just show, is if you adjust it wrong and you 
use it, the red light comes on and lets you know. That means it's too low. Adjust it too high and stay steady. Then shut off and stay steady. So give me an idea to help the customer through the adjustment. Even though it's not an automatic adjuster like their other machines, it helps the customer out. Um, now, another thing is this is the filter right here. This is, and the way I like to explain it is it's a, they took a HEPA filter or a micro filter and took it out of the box and unfolded it and put it all the way in here. Um, another side of here is a micro filter. They are replaceable, and as of right now, there are color options, um, so they could change it up if they wanted to. Turn this on. So apparently, uh, as of right now, the warranty on SIBO is seven years on the motor, five years bumper to bumper. Um, if it's being used in light commercial, it's really frowned upon with SIBO, uh, but it's they're sold that way all the time generally you do a two-year warranty when you do that um, so yeah that is the SIBO Felix versus the competition um, so kind of some quick ways uh, to bring this customer into a quality machine um, and Again, we'll go over the points real quick. This machine is made in Germany. It's made to last 20 plus years. This machine's made to last a year. It's made in China. This machine will get low. This machine will not. This machine has multiple adjustments for your carpet and does not void your carpet warranty. This machine does not. This machine puts everything in a bag, it's clean to empty. And it's less money to run than buying and washing the filters for this. This machine is adjustable to the user. This machine is not. Um, oh, service centers. That's, that is the other thing. You want to radiate that if they have used the shark warranty, they know they have to send it away. They know there is no service center. This has got service centers nationwide. Parts are available. It's a widely made and distributed machine. Um, so I hope you enjoyed our brief overview. Of As always, please like, subscribe to Performance Reviews.